Hi, my name is Roland and here in Thailand we have a holiday resort and a holiday resort of course is a substantial electrical installation and not just that we are receiving our power from the grid we also have quite a lot of solar PV and always when you are dealing with such a, a sophisticated electrical installation you need a good metering to tell what is going on so here in Thailand we do not have access to the smart meter from the utility maybe in your country you have the chance to have a internet access to your smart meter but here it's not the case so what I needed was a good metering which I could do by myself and the next best thing uh, which is close to a smart meter from the utility is something like this this is a smart power analyzer let's see it's a smart meter but just for non-utility use and today we are going to talk about this i will explain to you what this can show you what this is doing it's the eastron x835 and this is not any advertising for the company i'm just telling you this non-affiliated because i'm very satisfied with this product and it would be really something you need if you also need to know what's going on the design of this meter is a so-called panel meter so it is installed into something like this a metallic box which is a main distribution box and if you open this part here you will see from the back here it is placed into a cutout which is around 10 by 10 centimeters and then we have uh, current transformers which you can choose however you need them for your installation i have here pretty big ones because these are substantial supply cab cables here and then here there are three fast blowing fuses which are protecting each phase going through the meter and then another thing here is also a Modbus data connection every single value which the meter can show to us will also be stored in a memory and you can read it out via Modbus what I'm doing here on my power wall to read the bidirectional power can we see now on the meter so this is how it looks like we have a pretty big uh, LCD display here around 7 by 7 centimeters right that's maybe like three by three inches and we have four buttons here the display has three row main rows these will be values by phases typically and then we have a fourth row which is power energy uh, display so on the first button we have voltage and current so we now have three times the voltage neutral to phase phase one two and three and then we have here phase two phase voltages so phase one to two two to three three to one then the currents per phase so you can see now here about six amps on the phase number three as a maximum the next page here is showing the total harmonic distortion per phase what is the total harmonic distortion so a pure perfect sine wave would be zero distorted and so 1.7 for example here is that our actual sine wave which is going through the meter is by one and a half percent not perfect from a perfect sine wave and this here the same thing for the current here on this uh, button on the first page we can see the total power through all phases at the moment so we are now you see jumping between minus and plus so it's at the moment it's morning and we are kind of power neutral because the solar systems are starting to push power to the outside then the power factor total power factor as you can see as we are jumping around the zero 
point uh, the power factor is also very unsettled because there is capacitive inductive loads everywhere and because there is no power flowing at the moment that factor will not be very uh, stable and then our frequency over all phases then each phase has its own power factor on this page page number three will show us current maximum demand so here we can see that during this period the maximum current was here phase number three 41 amps and the same thing we also have the active power reactive power and apparent power so as you can see in our resort the maximum demand around 17 kilowatts we have a 100 kilowatt transformer here so we are well below that a limit of course okay that was these features and now on the next one is the power here we can now see active power per phase and yeah you see about 200 watts phase one minus means we are exporting and plus means we are importing so phase one and two are already exporting phase three now also here the same reactive powers and the same again on apparent powers what is the difference between those powers it's always corrected by the power factor and here this page is showing the sum of all three phases all right then we have our fourth row here which are the energy the meter is calculating all the total energies we have here the date there's time then we have the total active power total reactive power imported active power exported active power imported reactive power exported reactive power and then there are some values which can be stored every time when you see this symbol here it's like a computer that means that something is accessing the meter via the mod bus and in this case it's my power wall as you can see a very nice tool and it will tell you everything you need to know about your energy flows power flows and yeah what more would you need if you don't have any other information so as I said, this is not sponsored or an advertisement for anybody. I just wanted to show you something like this. If you really need to have more information about your installation, you can buy a meter like this and really get every detail out of your system. Okay, so that was it for today. Thank you for watching this video. Please comment, subscribe to the channel, like the video. And I see you next time.